From the DeNovo Realty Studios in sunny Brevard County, Florida, the most important podcast on the internet. Ladies and gentlemen, DeNovo Realty Radio. Good afternoon and welcome to DeNovo Realty Radio. I'm Sherry Boswell. I'm Shaylee Gearman. And I'm Caleb Peaser. And we're here today to talk about the pre-approval process. So Caleb, tell me a little bit about yourself. Yeah, so my name is Caleb Heaster. I'm with Integrity Mortgage Group. I'm originally from Pennsylvania, moved here three and a half years ago, and I'm a mortgage loan officer. So I help people who are looking to buy or refinance a home uh, figure out what their goals are and what the best product is for them. Awesome. Well, getting pre-approved. We've all heard this term. A lot of people don't know or understand it. Can you kind of share, shed a little bit of light on that whole process for us? Yeah, absolutely. So there's two main terms that our industry uses interchangeably, and I think it's really important to distinguish the difference. So there's pre-qualified and pre-approved. Pre-qualified basically means that you've talked to a loan officer about what you're looking to do. They've asked you, you know, some basic information, maybe where do you work, how much money you have, what do you make per year. And then from that, they honestly, they kind of just make a guess of what they think you could purchase. Okay. Um, getting pre-approved, the difference is you've actually sent your documents in for them to review. That includes pay stubs, W-2s, tax returns, few other things depending on your situation and from there they're able to get a much better gauge of how much you can buy, what your payment looks like, um, and uh, what your cash to close would be. Awesome. Well, why is it even important to talk to a lender before you get this process started? So there's a couple of reasons why it's really important that you do it up front. Um, I would say there's three main ones. The first one is we want to make sure A, that you can buy at home, that we don't need to put a plan together for you to get pre-approved that's maybe six or 12 months out. The second reason why it's important is a lot of times um, people will come and say, hey, you know, I want to buy this house, it's 300000 and they may be able to, but their budget is really for a $250,000 home. Okay. So we want to make sure that you're looking at the right price range. And then the third thing is it's a super competitive market, as both of you know, and there's a lot of cash buyers, there's a lot of people putting in full price offers. We want to make sure you don't lose out on that home and that you have your ducks in a row up front. Um, and if you don't have your financing from the start, there's a chance that you're going to lose out on the house. So. Excellent. This is great information. Um, what are some pitfalls that uh, buyers looking to purchase a home and getting pre-approved, things that can happen? So first things first, make sure you give them your entire situation. Don't hide anything. The whole yeah, the picture. whole picture. If you, no if you secrets, bought it, people. No, no, secrets. no secrets. If you quit your job, if you bought a car last week, we need to know. And ultimately, we'll find out before you get to closing. So save you the stress and the heartache of losing out on a home. Make sure you tell us everything up front. Um, also, don't do anything that's going to change your income, um, any liabilities. Again, don't go buy a car. Uh, don't have weird cash deposits. Anything that would be unusual activity, make sure you check with your loan officer first um, that it's not going to cause an issue for you down the road. Shaylee, have you had any problems with that before? Yes, yes. So it's really important to be uh, upfront because from the beginning, they're going to check your credit to get you pre-approved. They're going to check everything. And then they also... Uh, even right before closing, the day of closing, they're going to recheck everything again. So it's really important to make sure you're not taking out new financing over the course from going under contract to the closing table because if you do take out financing or you open a new credit card, it can throw everything off, including your debt-to-income ratio, your credit score, and um, that will affect closing. So it's really important to, to know all of that information too. Kayla, can you share with me uh, maybe an, uh, an example? Uh, yeah, sure. So along the those same equipment. lines. The lawn equipment people? The lawn equipment remember? people? <laughs> we no, had I don't a, remember. We, what was that? We had a closing together and um, they bought a, right before closing, they went out and decided to open a lawn equipment or a lawn company. So they went out and bought lawn mowers and everything, spent about $16,000 uh, in financing on new lawn equipment and it completely threw off closing and we weren't able to close on time because of that. Okay, yeah. There's so many different different things like that that could pop up. I've actually had it before where someone the day of closing went to wire the money, the bank teller told them, hey, you can get more rewards on your cards, didn't tell them it's a new line of credit, and um, they closed that day, but we sat there for a fun 60, 70 minutes trying to get another, uh, a, a, you know, a statement from the bank, basically. Um, Wow. So, yeah, definitely don't do anything. 
until after closing. Until <laughs> Wait you have until the then. keys in your hand and you have closed. Exactly. <laughs> this is great information. Um, you know, due to the recent uh, COVID-19 quarantine events that we've all just gone through, we're all starting to get back to normal, hopefully. Um, has that really changed the pre-approval process or the pre-qualification process? Um, well, so there's a few things where it could affect your approval. Even if you were pre-approved before, if you haven't bought the home, it's important you check with your loan officer to make sure that you're still pre-approved. Um, programs have changed as far as availability. Credit score minimums have changed. Debt ratios could change. So there's all that. Uh, but really, for the most part, there's a couple different types of buyers where it really could affect you. Um, if you're self-employed, and you own your own business, obviously there could be concerns of was your business shut down, do you have a loss of income from that, um, as well as if you work varied hours and your pay was cut or maybe your hours were cut. We need to take a look at that to make sure um, you're still able to purchase that home. Excellent. Um, so why is it maybe important to speak to a local lender versus someone that's like out of state from where they're maybe moving from? Yeah, so um, there's a few different reasons. One is when they're local, they know the realtors, they know the title companies in the area, you're going to have better communication, a uh, much smoother process throughout the transaction. They also know the market really well, right? So when they're running numbers for you, they can make sure that your insurance, your taxes are accurate. What are they going to adjust to next year? Because that's a really big thing. Um, and then also just availability, right? Um, a lot of people, they're not available to talk until evening or maybe on a Saturday when you're stressed out about something going on in your contract. So it's really important that you have somebody that has your best interest at heart and you're not just a number in a queue. Exactly. Um, I think it's really important for us as real estate agents. It's one of the first things that we talk about with new buyers is the pre-approval process. So um, thank you so much for sharing yeah. such great information. I think now everyone out there will have the tools to get pre-approved. Shaylee, can you tell us just a little bit more about what we offer here at DeNovo Realty? Yes, yes. Yeah. So here at DeNovo Realty, we are a full-service brokerage, and we can definitely help you uh, get pre-approved and start the home process. We have a very nice website that makes it easy for you to uh, go on and start your home search. Uh, we can start virtually looking at homes, and we also have a um, fantastic guide to selling your home that we would love to share with you. It's a nice booklet, has a lot of helpful information in it. Uh, we will leave a link in the comments for you, and we will also, uh, if you want to reach out to us, uh, you can reach out to any of us, or you can reach out to our office, and we will get a copy of this sent over to you. Thank you guys so much for being a part of our pre-approval video today. And thank you for joining in at DeNovo Realty Radio. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Now go.